Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to make a gorgeous uh, sign today that mimics palette wood. So I am going to use these four signs I got from Dollar General after e Easter when they went on 70% off. And I'm going to use some what I call popsicle sticks and some chalk paint. Now the hardest part about this sign is taking this off. That, um, well, the back isn't as bad, but boy, that one on the front is so hard to get off. So once you have those off, it does leave a little bit of the glue. And I did have to use a little bit of sandpaper to sand that glue off. Um, there is nails from where that board across the middle was. So you see me like taking out some of those nails so I don't cut my fingers. And right now all that glue even with sanding it down wasn't coming off but i didn't think it was going to be a problem so i did leave some of that on there you really can't see it when the sign's finished i loved these signs because of the lines and the indentions and it really looked like palette when you when you put them together so i'm going to use e6000 and hot glue i'm going to put a line of e6000 across the top long edge and aligning E6000 and hot glue on the bottom. Doing it this way, you only have to do it twice. As you can see, I'm attaching one sign to the bottom, one sign to the side. Now I'm going to do it again, E6000 on the long edge with hot glue and the short edge. And that way I only had to do this, as I said, twice because then they're all glued together. And I just love these signs. I loved um, when I seen them at Dollar General, I knew they would go on sale, so I just waited for that sale to happen. Now, these, whatever, I always call them popsicle sticks. They're like crafting sticks. They look like tongue depressors, whatever you want to call them. You can get a big bag of them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And they're great for reinforcing when you're putting multiple signs together. So I'm good. Take the popsicle sticks, put some hot glue on them, and I'm going to put them in the creases of my sign. Even though I have the E6000 and the hot glue, it's always good to reinforce this because these actually are very heavy and they're even heavier when you put four of them together. So take your popsicle sticks, add some hot glue, and reinforce the back of that sign. All right, now that that is reinforced, we are gonna flip it over and I'm using Waverly Cashew. This is the first time using this color. I love this color. I didn't want this to be totally white. And if you do use Waverly White or use Full Garden White, I just wanted a more creamy color. That's why I chose the Cashew. So I'm gonna give this a great coat of paint I actually did it, I think, two coats of paint on this. And I know you can see where that um, the glue is still on there. That's okay. Then after the next step, you're not going to be able to see it. Make sure you paint the, every single edge, too, because if you're going to hang it on the wall like I am, then you're going to want all the edges painted also. Now I'm going to come back in, and I cut the ends off of the popsicle sticks. And I am going to measure out so that I can make one line on each side. So just take them, um, cut the edges off, put two of them down, and then use the third one to measure. I'm going to use this new penny paint um, to give this a kind of like a vintage, like rustic, rusted look. And I'm going to paint each one of my popsicle sticks. I'm painting the top and I'm painting all of the sides. Thank you. 
Once those are dry, I'm going to put them on my sign and I'm going to just hot glue them down and one on one side and one on the other. I think this gives it um, that farmhouse like wooden sign look. I just think it really adds to the sign putting these sticks down on either side. And you'll see in a few seconds, we'll see if you agree with me. I love the way that looks, so I thought I would incorporate just a little bit of that new penny on the edges of the sign, and then coming in just a little bit throughout the sign to give that rusted look. Um, and it worked out really good. I dry brushed it, so there's not an awful lot, but I just think it enhances the edges and in the creases, I also added some new penny to just make those creases of the sign pop out. Now I wanted the sign to have a saying, so with my cameo, I printed off a saying that start, says, start each day with a grateful heart. It's one of my favorite sayings, and I really wanted to have a sign um, with the sign with the saying on it. Um, if you watched a couple of videos ago, I shared with you guys, I did start a new job, and I'm bringing these signs to decorate my corner of my new office which i'm so excited and so grateful to have this new opportunity so i'm going to take some lambs here and i'm just going to cut the um and here i go you guys you always know to expect me to go blank sometime during a video of mine just cut the petals off <laughs> why do i always do this and then i'm taking some um floral i think i got this floral from dollar general when after um spring they put some of their floral on sale and i thought this was just such pretty flowers in the purple in the pinks and i'm just gonna hot glue them to the sides another great idea with the sign and i didn't think about it until i had already started hot gluing the floral to the sign would be to glue two mason jars on either side and put your floral in the mason jars. That way you could change it out um, for the different seasons and you could put different florals on the sign. I wish I would have done that, um, but it's so cute and I really like how it turned out. I really like these flowers, even though they're more spring, summer, you know, looking flowers, it's okay. It's just gonna be going in my office. So I'm just using an abundance of hot glue to get these flowers to stick. And then I'm going to take some twine because you know you always need a twine bow on every project. <laughs> I just love twine bows. You can skip this if you want. You can use ribbon. You can make any kind of bow you want. So I just made a twine bow and I attached it to the bottom of each bundle of flowers that I had glued to my sign. I really do like this sign. I mean, it's gorgeous. It You would not know that this was made with four Easter signs from Dollar General. I absolutely love it. It makes me smile every day at work. I hope it makes you smile too, and I hope you want to try this project. If you like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. It tells me I'm doing it right. And as always, I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye, y'all.